Hello everyone, in this video I'll explain Bitcoin price manipulation concepts and how to avoid it using the information about liquidation pools. Also, I'll show how to reduce risks when trading Bitcoin futures with hedging positions. Let's start with Bitcoin price manipulation. In short, you're being manipulated by whales who move the price by buying or selling large amount of Bitcoins to the liquidation levels to initiate the liquidation cascade which in turn moves the price even further. So for example, you can see here the price is sitting at 16,800 range and we see a large liquidation pool just above that range. There is a large incentive for whales to move the price to that level so it will trigger all the positions that have liquidation levels here to be liquidated which in turn would initiate liquidation cascade and move the price even further. Then once the liquidation cascade is over the whales re-enter the position and the price bounces back and in this way they make profit from the entire move. In order to prevent the manipulation you need to be aware of where the liquidity is situated to understand where the whale can do their next move. By having this information we can do three things. Number one, predict the next price action. Number two, place our stop losses outside of the liquidation range. And number three, place a trade that will profit from the whale's action. So now let's take a look at the Bitcoin price from the technical analysis standpoint. So we can see here it's one hour time frame. You can see here we have a trend which was broken. The price broke the trend, went down. And here it looks very like a liquidation event. So here the price went down, large wick, and spiked back to the same levels very fast. So let's take a look at Fisher, and we see the, all the liquidity here was basically clean. So there is no liquidity sitting here. So likely because of that liquidation event, the liquidity got cleared, and there is no incentive for whales to to push the price down. However, there is strong incentive for them to push the price up in order to liquidate all those people who, are, who have their liquidation levels here at those price levels. So by having this information, we can make a conclusion that we can have a similar spike to the upside. So if we look daily, we can see that the price is sitting just above 0 0.2 Fibonacci. So we can expect the price to bounce to 17,500 range, approximately to these levels. So this liquidity gets liquidated and it can go up to 17,700. As you can see, the hill here is quite steep. And that coincides exactly with 17,750, which is 0 0.38 Fibonacci. And uh, after that, the price can go back. So that's one of the scenarios. The second scenario is that this downtrend will continue and the price will reach 15,700 range. So by having this information, we can place our orders, stop losses and take profits accordingly. Let's take a look of how can we do that. So here, from this level, we can open a long position with take profits at 17,000. 500, 17,750. So we set it here. And the stop loss for this position would be at around 16,500. So you can see here we have a small liquidity pool, but nothing substantial. So most likely there would be no spikes here. So we can set it at 16,500 and uh, take profits 17,500, 17,750. So that's based on the information that we get from the liquidation pools. That's trade number one. Also, we can open a short position here with a take profit at 15,750 range. But to determine a stop loss for this position, we need to take a look at the liquidation pools again. So if the price goes up 
to 17,100 range, it can quickly spike all the way up to 17,500, even to 17,700. So we need to take that into account. So our stop loss should be at least at 70,500 and better at 70,800 range. So this is one to one profit loss trade. So it's not very profitable in terms of the loss reward ratio, but as we can see, most likely the price won't go above this level. And if it does, we have a nice long position here that would compensate us for the losses. So now I'll show you how we can open those trades. We'll go to buy bid. We'll open one long position and the current level with the stop loss, take profits, as we described here. And as a reminder, you should not risk more than 5% of your total funds allocated for trading with any given trade. So here, as an example, we do $100 potential loss for every trade. So here is an example, we do $100 potential loss for every trade. We open the long position. Now, make sure you have hedge mode enabled to be able to open short position as well. Now we open the short position to hedge the risk, the one that we described here, with one to one profit loss ratio, we'll open short, take profit would be at 15,700, stop loss, stop loss, 1,800. We're opening a small position here, so in case price won't go up, it will go all the way down. We're hedged against the risk, so we're not losing anything from this trade. So opening short position. Also, what other information can we get from the chart? Here we can see that if the price reaches that level, it will likely bounce from this level. So we also can open a long position when the price reaches that level. Let's do that. We do limit, we open a long position when the price reaches this level. Now let's determine take profit for this trade. Let's clean these trades. If the price goes all the way down from here, the retracement will be likely at 0 0.236 and potentially 0 0.382 Fibonacci as well. So we can set take profit at this level. Let's do that. So 0 0.382 would be 16,160. Take profit. 16,160 and the stop loss for this trade we put just above 15,550 range because after that we have increased liquidity which can lead the price going down even further and liquidating our position so we don't want that we're setting a stop loss 15,000 550. This can be quite a big position because stop loss is quite tight because we expect a bounce there. Let's do that. What else can we see from the information? Also, based on the liquidation pool, we see that if the price reaches these levels, it will go all the way up to 17,500 and it can even reach 17,750 800 range. So if the price reaches those levels, we expect it to bounce back down. So based on this information, we can place a limit order trade, short trade, which would be opened at the, around these levels to capture this potential bounce. So we'll do that also. we we'll open a trade at, at this level, 70,000. 
500. We determine a take profit based on the retracement. So if the price goes all the way up here, it will likely bounce to these levels, 17,300 and potentially all the way back as it would be liquidation event. So as we can see, since it would be liquidation event, we expect the price to bounce even further. It can go down to 0 0.6 even 0 0.7 Fibonacci, potentially, potentially going all the way back. So here we're opening the trade that will enter the position at 17,500. We stake profit at the same level, 16,800. Stop loss just above the liquidation pool. Again, potential loss should not exceed 5% of your total capital allocated for trading. For demonstration purposes, we do each trade with a potential loss of about $100. So let's also place this short, short limit order. So to sum up, based on the information that we received, it seems like there is no too much certainty about the price action, but giving the technical analysis, tools that we have in our possession and information about liquidation pools, we can open multiple trades that would hedge each other and uh, potentially get profit in any of the possible scenarios that we just described. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you want to trade on Bybit, follow the link down in the description and you can get up to $30,000 worth of bonus. If you already have a Bybit account, just create a new one using a new email to claim that bonus. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye, everyone.